What's up guys, The Monty here, bringing you a new series of gaming videos um, with a slight twist. Now as you can probably see, I am playing what looks to be Skyrim, and you would not be wrong, I am playing Skyrim. However, I am playing Skyrim on a very cheap, bog-standard, run-of-the-mill, off-the-shelf laptop. Um, I bought this laptop a year ago. Um, it's a Lenovo um, G580 laptop in lovely blue. Uh, currently running Windows 8.1. Um, has an integrated graphics card uh, with about, I think it's 128 megabyte memory, um, one terabyte hard drive. Um, so, yeah, very, very, very bog standard. <laughs> and as you can see, I am playing. Skyrim. Um, now, I, I wanted to give you guys um, a kind of a series of videos of me playing games on this laptop to kind of show you um, that you can play high-end latest games um, on a laptop. Um, now, I know Skyrim's been out for a, a couple of years now, so it's not exactly the latest release game. However, it is a very high-end graphic game. Um, that you can only really truly appreciate while playing at the highest graphic settings but you can still play this game um, on the very very minimum bog standard um, graphic settings and just to kind of show you um, actually I don't know if it will no it won't show me um, okay well I can't show you but anyway um, I am running this purely vanilla um, in terms of the laptop. There are no um, added components, there's no upgrades, there's no enhancers, there's no nothing. It is just straight out of the box um, laptop and I am playing Skyrim pretty well. Now I will warn you that sometimes um, the game will take a while to res. Um, and there are bits and bobs that kind of do take a long time to show. For example, if you're running through Skyrim, it will uh, take a while to generate the ground um, and objects in the ground. And sometimes weapons and stuff you can't always see or they don't res properly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you on a very quick quest. Um, I have been playing this game um, for about a day now um, on the laptop just to kind of see how it would run. Um, so I'm just going to do a very quick quest, which is the Horn of Jürgen Windcaller, um, which if you have played Skyrim, you'll know it's one of the Greybeards um, quests um, to collect before they give you um, the final shout of uh, Fosrodar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of show you how well you can play this um, on a laptop. Um, and the reason I'm crouched is there were bandits close by somewhere it really looks like they died are they dead or are they asleep <laughs> no idea what this band I'm just going to nick all their stuff oh it's a woman let's just nick everything for the hell of it. Okay, it looks like they were killed. So, any that is. <laughs> I want Earth. Do you end up in there like that? Um, I am playing this with a couple of add-ons um, installed, a um, couple of modifications and tweaks. Um, one of them is a Star Wars lightsaber mod um, that I'm using. I don't know. Sometimes it will res, sometimes it won't. Uh, this one has res. So as you can see, I am using a lightsaber. <laughs> Helps if I do it when I'm not sneaky. So, so yeah, I am using a few mods and enhancers um, in the game. Um, just a few add-ons and tweaks. Um, I think Bandolier is one of them. Um, just so I get more inventory, spe um, inventory space. Um, 
uh, body modification mod that kind of improves the look of characters um, the Star Wars mod that adds lightsabers and robes and um, magicka and stuff based on Star Wars one thing you will notice if you are going to play this on a laptop of this caliber <laughs> um, is sometimes um, it will take a while to load between scenes in games especially Skyrim um, as you can see here it is taking quite a while to load um, the different scenes so you will have to bear in mind that if you are playing this on a laptop of these specs um, you will have to take into account that sometimes things can take a while to load um, also I, as you know I am running this on the lowest graphic settings possible um, purely just so that the game can actually run um, however despite that the game is running incredibly well um, I do get around sort of 25-30 FPS um, a lot of the time um, it probably won't seem that at the moment because I'm recording this for you guys to watch um, <laughs> as I wait for the map to load like I say it can take a while so you will have to bear with it it's not frozen it's not crashed it, it's just taking a, a while to render um, but as you can see I'm level 10 you know I have been playing this for a little bit um, just to kind of see how it would work there are some laggy bits um, that do get annoying but they're not common um, and most of the time the game does run relatively smoothly um, there's a lot of dead people around here which is quite worrying it's been a long time since I played this quest. Thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. There goes another one. These are mages, I think. will rubble. Even dead, they're almost useless. Ooh, my mighty lightsaber of doom. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as you can see, it does get quite laggy um, if you're engaged in heavy combat. Um, so you will have to bear in mind that obviously with Skyrim, a lot of the game is combat. Um, I personally like running around with swords and bashing people on the head. Um, it might be different if you're an archer or a mage where you're using magic. Um, I haven't tried those out yet. Um, in terms of how the game plays so you'll just have to kind of experiment a little and see what kind of works for you but I mean yes it's not the highest game settings and yes there are many many faults when playing it but you can still play it which is the main thing um, so if you can ignore these little tweaks um, and glitches and occasional lag spikes and you know the odd sort of minute or two loading the game then you can still play and enjoy Skyrim um, very much and I'm completely lost now <laughs> ah. it's been ages since I've done these introductory missions and stuff As you can see, sometimes the lightsaber won't res properly, but you do still have it. You just kind of have to bear with it. If you are going to use a lightsaber, that is not everyone will. I do because I just like the noise. Now my lightsaber reses. <laughs> so yeah, there are many, 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 
He's still alive, is he? Where's he going? Come back here. Um, I'm also using a um, Xbox controller because I find it easier. Oh my god. Well, that was there. Uh, come at me, yo. So as you can see, in quite heavy combat, you do get lag. Um, it is manageable, um, to be truthful. You know, I've never yet had this laptop crash um, or freeze so badly that I've had to restart it while playing. Um, touch wood, this has played um, very well. So there are there are faults with it. I will be honest, but if you can ignore those faults and kind of get by them because they're not major faults then you can enjoy Skyrim and play it just as well as you can on a normal sort of spec PC um, unfortunately the loading screens in Skyrim can take a while as I said and obviously there are a lot in Skyrim um, but that's that's kind of that's part of the game really um, one thing I will like or would like to do is do a series of different games and show you how you can play them on a on a laptop of this spec. Um, and this is a bog standard laptop. This is not a gaming laptop in any way, shape, or form. It's not been modified to be a gaming laptop. There is nothing on this laptop that says gaming laptop. Um, I bought it last year because I I needed a laptop um for for work and stuff and i kind of started adding games to it very sort of simple games um and then i just kind of started experimenting with other games um more sort of graphically minded games and, and bigger games and i was quite pleasantly surprised in how well this laptop can run high spec games um games like armor 3 which if you'll know armor 3 is a very very big game um, it requires a lot of resources it is very graphically intense um, however this laptop will run it um, and I'll show you that in a, a later video it's not perfect by any means and I think the highest FPS I get is about 10 um, but it's still playable um, so if you play games on armor 3 like wasteland or life server um, it's perfect for that combat wise you might struggle um, if you're sort of playing big games like Insurgency or Domination, um, you will lag a lot. Um, that will that will happen. Um, but you know, if you just want to sort of do things like editing or playing like Wasteland or whatever that doesn't require too much combat, then you will find that this game does work on this laptop. Um, I'm just trying to find out where to go down there. Yeah, my laptop. Uh, my my saber rest. Um, details of the mods I'm using I'll put in the description. Oh, hello. <laughs> Running a trap. That is another thing I forgot to mention. Um things can take a while to res if you're in caves and such so things like traps um, and sort of creatures and animals can take a little while to kind of render so um, just be careful that you think there's nothing there and then all of a sudden something jumps out and tries to grab you so <laughs> But as you can see, you know, despite it running mods and stuff, the game isn't running too badly. Um, 
and I, I'm just I just wanted to show you this quest um, just to kind of show you how well you can play um, and just give you a little bit of, of a taster uh, into the life of Skyrim while playing on a laptop um, this guy's gonna come down here Um, okay, I got distracted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, as you can see, graphically, it's not terrible. Um, you can obviously make out what objects are and where you are relatively well. Um, I am completely lost now. Um, so I mean, you can play this quite well um, obviously if you've got a better laptop than this you'll probably fare better and obviously gaming laptops and such you'll you'll do you know you won't have any issues at all really um, but for me who doesn't have a gaming laptop and doesn't at the moment have a gaming spec PC you know this does incredibly well I'm very happy with the fact you know that I can play these games um, I am really lost now. I apologise if you are familiar with this map. Um, I haven't played this map in a, a very, very long time, so I'm quite lost. <laughs> um, current location. Okay, something over here. Ah. Right, I think we've been down here, haven't we? Okay, I'm not going to fall down there. I'll try not to fall down there anyway. Um. I'm not entirely sure where it is we have to go. <laughs> no, I've been up. Um, that's the beauty of Skyrim. You just get hopelessly lost, but you don't mind because there's so much to see and so much to do. And um, it kind of takes the annoying aspect out the fact that you are lost. Um, Alright, so I came down here, killed these few guys, or two guys, uh, there's a door here. I think we've been in here already. This is really annoying. And you go around here and you go up here um, I don't know if you can see at the moment I'm getting 10 FPS which um, isn't brilliant but that's probably because I am recording voice as well um, oh, there we go. recording voice as well in front of the video purpose How you dispatch those bad boys. Right. Um, I think it's down here. No, we go down, don't we? That's where the arrow is. So, one thing I absolutely love about this game is it's so, so mystical so magical obviously I don't get the beauty of it fully on this laptop but I get enough 
Nu er jeg ikke skal lade sig Når vi skal i tårnen Kom her, yo As you can see, um, or I hope you can see, sometimes creatures and stuff take a while to res. So the only reason I knew that people were here is because of the red dots on the little mini map at the top. The direction. I think there's an archer somewhere. Um. I don't want a battle axe, I want... I don't think we go down there yet. I honestly can't remember where you get the uh, the item from for the greybeards. Um, it has been such a long time since I've done these initial missions. Um, I've progressed so far. <laughs> I've forgotten about these missions, to be truthful. Okay, well, I don't think it's up here. There's nothing here that kind of screams. So, as you can see as I'm running, it is kind of glitchy, a little bit laggy and so on and so forth, but it's not too bad. Okay, so the arrow is pointing over here. So I'm just gonna check the map. Okay, um, one thing I'll do quickly is level up. I tend to focus a lot more on my health um, when leveling up rather than Magicka. Um, because I, I don't tend to play magic based roles. I tend to like slash and dash with a sword or as you can tell a lightsaber. Um, occasionally I'll pick up a bow. I need that. Occasionally I'll pick up a bow and go hunting and so on but um, Okay, so I think this is as far as we can go down here. Uh, somehow we've got to get through here, which I think is back up where we came from. Um. So yeah, I'm going to do a series of these videos, um, laptop gaming, um, purely because I don't have a desktop PC <laughs> at the moment. Um, currently saving up for a new one after my old one uh, died a, a horrible death. Um, but I also just wanted to show people that you know you can play these games on um, laptops. You know you don't have to have high spec machines to play the game um, what are these? 
soul gems. I don't want the troll skull. I think there's a switch. There's a room in there, and a Draegar that's dead, so... Uh... Right, screw it. Is there a switch or something up here I've missed? Potion of the Berserker. There's nothing here that I'm missing, is there? Or am I? I don't know anymore. I'm so lost. Nothing there. Um, I, I, I genuinely don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm so lost. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here because I don't want you guys getting bored watching me be hopelessly lost. Um, I'll do a part two of this video actually, um, and I'll show you the other bits of Skyrim um, on the laptop. So I hope you have enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, please feel free to put them in the uh, comments below. Um, I'll also link you guys to my brand new Twitter and my new Facebook page. Um, and this will be the, the first of a, a series of many laptop gaming videos that I will do. Um, so I, ho I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, and I look forward to sharing more laptop gaming experience with you quite soon. Um, take care and bye for now.